Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how ChatGPT can help you as a QA tester, especially once you're starting out. And I've listed five things how you can actually utilize ChatGPT to your advantage. But please do take in mind that, you know, it's still new. Uh, you should not give him personal information and it's not reliable 100% of the time. So do take that in mind when we're going through these points. Point number one is actually to learn things faster. How I utilize this is actually when I'm right now playing around with automation tool called Playwright and I'm more of a visual learner. So I like to go by examples. I just ask him, hey, listen, can you write me a great Playwright example and describe each of the step of what it actually does and why it's like there. And as you can see here, he gives me great advice with all of the descriptions for each of the line, uh, what it does, and then I can just, you know, play around, adjust it to me and see how it structures it. And in this case as well, if I don't know the certain actions or, you know, it's a new tool, it uses maybe a different structure, I can ask him, hey, what actions does he use? Of course, I can also find this in the Playwright documentation, but this is more fun and sometimes much quicker than to go and dig through pages of documentation. So yeah, point number one definitely is to learn new things. So you can ask him certain examples and you can learn, for example, automation much faster than previously. Okay, point number two would be troubleshooting. Now, if you set up anything before using terminal, you know sometimes that you run into issues. Now, if you've never done this before, there will come a time where you will run into this. And now it has changed the game because you don't have to dig through Stack Overflow to find your answers, which sometimes are not even there. And you can ask, just ask ChatGPT. So let's take this for example. You know, you just set up a new computer, you've never used terminal before, and you're trying to install something and saying bash profile does not exist. You can just ask ChatGPT, hey, it's giving me the bash profile that does not exist. You don't even know what it is. So he's giving you, okay, go there, add this path, save it, works. If you still don't know how to get in there, how to save it, you could ask him a follow-up question. Hey, I don't know how to save it. What commands do I need to use in my terminal? And if it's giving you more er errors, you can just copy them in there and ask him. As you can see here, he gives great step-by-step -step examples, what you should do, what commands you should execute, and the code lines you need to, you know, copy in there. But for this example, you do have to adjust the path uh, on your computer, not, not the one that he's giving, but yeah. So yeah, this is a great tool to troubleshoot stuff much faster and it saves you time. So use it to your advantage when you're installing stuff if you're new in your QA uh, career. Okay, point number three is actually when you're developing a new feature, you can ask ChatGPT, hey, how would you test this feature? And for this example, we will use, uh, let's say we are, uh, our company has created a new login screen and now we need to test it. Now, you can ask him, hey, how would you test a login screen? Now, you can see here that he gave sound advice on what test approaches he would use and how you should view this as not use it like all the time, but you can just take a step back and look at stuff differently. Like he has different view on stuff very biased compared to us humans. We have emotions, experience, all of this that we sort of take in mind when we're approaching a new feature. And ChatGPT has a different way of viewing things. So he can just give you a new perspective or stuff that you maybe did not think of. So this can actually advance your testing approach and the way of thinking. You can learn much faster, leading by great examples, like here and you know follow through so this also helps you grow your experience in these different testing methods that he would be using and so point number four actually goes together with point number three um, because what i would do is then ask him a follow-up question hey listen what test cases uh, would you write for this login screen for example and once again i wouldn't use it like 100 percent of the time and rely on it uh, and I've actually never tried this before, so it's actually fun to see the results. 
But as you can see, his view is very much different than us. And maybe you just did not think of something that he did. And so this just gives you a different perspective, which then can improve the overall quality of the product. So yeah, you can use it to your advantage to develop your skills faster and try out these different varieties of testing approaches, uh, which of course are always necessary in basically all of the products that you've, you're working on. So yeah, use it to your advantage. Definitely great examples here. And I would definitely like learn a lot from this if I would be like starting out. Okay, so point number five is actually to test a specific um, a testing approach. Now in this example, we'll continue with the login screen example, but yeah, in point number three, for example, he listed security testing. Now you're new QA, you don't have experience yet, and you're thinking like, how can I actually like do this? I don't have any tools. I don't actually know even what it means. And you can ask him, hey, how you test security testing if you don't have any tools available to you? As you can see in this example, he actually gives you great advice how you can actually do the security testing on your own. And as you can see here, he actually lists a great way on how you can do security testing without any tools available to you. So this actually helps you develop your skills much faster. And you know, you can gain so much skills in such a short amount of time just by experimenting around with all of these testing methods. And afterwards, once you're played around with all of these possibilities that he's giving you or options, you can actually go and add them to your regression suit. Now, the same with the test cases that we created and the uh, way that he would you know, the test the feature. All of these examples are afterwards great to grow your regression suit. You can add these great examples and have covered all of the scenarios that you and ChatGPT have thought of. And this, at the end of the day, it will bring the, pro the product the best quality. And once again, it will grow your skills immensely much faster than anything else really, because you have real world experience and you have played around with so much different approaches. And you know, you can ask him all these questions if you don't even know what it means. So yeah, so overall, these are my five methods, how I would use them. And yeah, they do sort of circle back to point number one of learning new things quicker. Uh, because in this case, you can actually gain a lot of physical experience using it uh, if you use it to your advantage. And this definitely will help you like explode your QA career, because if you play around with all of this, you will have so much great experience and knowledge about so many different methods that a lot of people have never even tried. So you will definitely gain a lot of great insights, a lot of knowledge that you can later on implement in the product and help you, you know, explode your QA career further on. I actually liked making this video. <laughs> I've actually, two of the prompts I've actually never tried before. And this was actually fun to see the results. Like for example, the test cases, I hadn't, you know, thought of using it before this. And this is actually, you know, a great way to take a step back and look at stuff differently than people with experience, without experience view things. So yeah, this is actually very fun to do and insightful. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would definitely love to hear how ChatGPT has helped you. So if you use it to your advantage and you have great ways, drop them down below. Maybe someone also can use these. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.